sing on? Is it really my video if I don't have a little dance break, you know? Shawty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally send your poop in a bag, which is freaking weird, I know. Weird, can't believe I did it. Hello, beautiful human beings of the internet. If you're new here, my name's Kayla. I love making videos on all things health and wellness. Today is a long-awaited video. As you can see by the title, it is regarding all things gut health. So many of you guys have asked me to make this video via Instagram and TikTok, so here I am bringing the people what they want. Notice how I said healing and not healed because I am very much still in the midst of this process. I am not fully recovered or healed, but these are some things that the past five or six months I have found to be making a very, very significant difference. I am no gut health expert. I am very passionate. I've done a lot of research on this. But like I said, I am no professional, so take everything I say with a grain of salt um, and make sure you consult your physician and doctors or whoever before you implement any of these things. Okay? Okay. Before I tell you the things that I have found to be very helpful, I feel like it's kind of important to explain kind of why gut health is important and why it's trending. It's a topic that I feel like we as a society are not very educated on. Doctors don't really tell us about it or teach us about it. Um, and it truly affects our health in so many, many ways. In blonde terms, a microbiome is basically all of the microorganisms and the good and bad bacteria that is in your digestive tract. Your gut microbiome directly affects your nutrition. It affects how well you absorb nutrients from your food, how well you break down food, it affects your body's immunity and its ability to fight off infection. Another huge thing that it does is it directly affects the brain. There's been research to show that your gut and your brain are basically BFFs, okay? There's been many studies that show a correlation between psychological disorders like anxiety and depression um, relating back to your gut. There's so many symptoms that could be signs of an unhealthy gut. The first thing I noticed is that my skin was breaking out like crazy. I didn't break out all through childhood or teenage years um, and well into my adulthood, all of a sudden my skin started breaking out like crazy. My skin was wild. I was also developing weird eczema like on my eyelid. Not to be dramatic, but like I was so dramatic and it really was annoying. I could not figure it out. I tried so many different skincare products and I was like, there, there's gotta be a deeper cause of this. What is going on? Another symptom I had was extreme fatigue. I was so tired. I was fueling my body properly. Um, I was resting as much as I could and getting you know, eight to 10 hours of sleep, but I was not recovering well. I was so fatigued and tired all the time. I just didn't have energy to do anything. I was like, this is not normal. I am young, I'm in my 20s, I'm in my prime. Why am I freaking tired all the time? The third symptom is the one that really pushed me to dive into this whole gut health research, and it was the issues I was having with my digestive tract. I was having so many issues, TMI. I was very uncomfortable. I had severe bloating, not your normal, like every once in a while you blow, okay? We all blow, I blow, but it was like uncomfortable bloating, unreal, looked pregnant, was not pregnant, just bloated, and I was never a sensitive tummy girl, but I became a very sensitive tummy girl and I hated it, okay? I feel for you girls now. Because of my skin, energy, and digestive issues, I was like, you know what? These three things have to be related somehow because they were all very weird symptoms that all kind of appeared at the same time. Um, and I was like, they, they gotta be linked, they gotta be related. So I started doing research and that's when I realized gut health was something that I had majorly neglected for my entire life. Now I'm going to hop into things that I did that actually made a difference for me. The first thing I did that I would recommend 100 times over, and you're gonna hate me for saying this because it was a bit pricey, but I got tested. I called uh, some local holistic doctors and they were saying that it was gonna be well over a grand to get a few tests done. Um, and I was like, you know what? I'm not in a position where I feel like spending that right now um, as I was just dabbling into the gut health realm. So I decided to get a test from online. Um, it was from the brand Viome. This is not sponsored. I spent my own money on this. It was quite pricey, but way cheaper than going to the doctor to get tested. So I think it ended up being like 300 something dollars. Side note, I reached out to them and asked for a code to put in my description so that you guys could use it and get a discount on your test if you want this. Promise you I'm not sponsored, just 
wanted to be nice. They sent me a test. I did a saliva test where I like spit in a tube. I did a blood test where I had to prick my finger and send in my blood. And then I did a stool test, which is your poop. You literally send your poop in a bag, which is freaking weird. I know, weird. Can't believe I did it. RIP to the mailman that had to carry that package. The results came in, I would say about four to six weeks. This thing told me my food intolerances, understanding what foods cause me to have digestive upsets or what foods cause me to break out has been game changing because now I'm aware, okay, if I eat eggs tomorrow, I'm gonna have zits the next day. It's so nice to feel in control of my body again and this has helped me do that. Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cashews, cauliflower, crab, grapefruit, spinach, mustard greens, shrimp, very weird things, turmeric, things that are healthy. A lot of people are like, I'm eating healthy, why do I have gut issues? Our bodies respond differently to all food. There's no good or bad food, technically. And I've learned that along the way. I used to eat a bag of spinach a day and was wondering why I was so bloated. And it's because it's on my avoid list. It does not sit well with me. And this is why it's so important to understand that everybody is different because my intolerances are not gonna be your intolerances. You're not supposed to cut things out forever. The goal is to heal your gut enough where you can add all of these foods back in. A healthy gut is one that can enjoy all of the foods. The main reason I took the test was for food sensitivities, which I would say is the most helpful, 100% recommend even just for that. But it also gave me so much more knowledge. Like it mentioned how my body specifically cannot break down protein, um, which is crazy because I'm a gym girl and I'm eating so much protein. So I need some assistance from digestive enzymes to break down protein. Um, and I would have never known that if I didn't take the test. Now you can figure out your food sensitivities the hard way. You can guess and kind of eliminate things. But for me, it was just way too hard to pinpoint that way. And it was gonna take four Ever. Your girl is impatient. I don't got time for that. If you're impatient like me, a food intolerance test is going to expedite your gut healing journey. That test has made me feel more in control than I have in months. Moving on, something else I've done is added a few liquids into my morning routine. Um, I make this little green tea concoction every morning. What I do is I start with green tea. This fights off inflammation in the gut. Next thing I add to that tea is a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I just add two capsules into my green tea. It contains good probiotics and antioxidants that help aid in digestion. The star of the show in this drink is ginger root. I cut this baby into little pieces and I put it in my tea um, and I let it steep in there for like 15 minutes. Ginger does a really good job at moving things along, if you know what I'm saying, so that food doesn't just linger in your gut because that can lead to infection and all kinds of issues. This is just a great start to the day. It gives me that little energy pick me up while also getting me going. Does it taste good? No. No, it does not taste good. It does not taste good at all but it is worth it and you get used to it over time. I'm used to the taste now. The next superfood, it's not really a food, that I've added to my routine is organic beef bone broth. And I'm talking about the beef bone broth specifically, not the chicken. This ish is amazing for you. I drink this every morning to just kind of line my gut. It contains amino acids, essential fatty acids, vitamins and nutrients that are just so beneficial. I will link article below going to more details because there's so much research done on this um, that I don't want to bore you with, but this is amazing. Supplement time. Getting into supplements that have made a big difference for me. First of all, know that there's no cure-all magic supplement that's going to heal your gut. And so when you see that online, that is BS. Avoid, avoid, abort mission. Do not buy that. There are some things that I've added that actually have been very helpful for me. Um, the main thing I would say are digestive enzymes. I have these from Truvani, and then I also have these that you can just get at like anywhere, like Walmart or something. For people who have issues breaking down protein like me, or just digestive issues in general, if you eat one of these before your meals, it actually really can help to break down that food. I've gotten to the point where I don't have to take these before every single meal. If I know I'm gonna eat something that doesn't really sit well with my stomach or I eat a really protein dense meal, I will pop one of these babies, I pop one of these. Pineapples and papaya are full of digestive enzymes so I've also added a ton of these fruits into my diet and these are like nature's medicine. I'll eat a few pieces of pineapple before dinner almost every single night. 
Another thing I've added is a probiotic, but not any kind of probiotic. I decided to get the custom one from Viome, and this one has been a game changer. I've noticed it actually worked. I think getting one that was catered to me and not just a random one off the shelf um, was really beneficial. Another thing that a lot of people found helpful to restore their gut lining is L-glutamine. To me personally, this stuff did not work. Um, I noticed no real difference, so I, I cut it out of my routine. But a lot of people really like it and have found it to be like life-saving, so maybe you could try that out if you want. Another huge thing is diet. I'm not eating processed sugars, overly processed protein sources like bars and things. A bunch of like low-cal, sugar-free fitness foods are actually terrible for your gut. And to be honest, I think that's what caused me to have a lot of these issues because for years I was just like into like being fit, which is great, but I wasn't healthy. Um, there's a big difference between fitness and wellness, but I can make a whole video on that. Eating organic when I can, avoiding seed oil, oils as they're really inflammatory like palm oil, um, safflower seed oil. I only cook in avocado oil and olive oil and coconut oil. I also make sure I wash my fruit very well and vegetables very well as pesticides are super harmful for your gut. Changing my diet to be mindful of my food sensitivities as well as being super mindful of my quality of food has made a big difference. I know in fitness we're told it doesn't matter as long as you're in a deficit or a surplus, calories in versus calories out, but food quality really does matter for your actual long-term health. I really urge you to pay attention to what you're consuming and what you're buying. I eat mainly whole foods, vegetables, fruits, uh, beef, but I will say every day I have at least one scoop of protein because I like my treats. I've been using this for probably six months now since I started my gut healing journey and it has really made a big difference because I'm not giving up my treats, but it's also very rare to find a protein powder that works well when you're on your gut healing journey because most protein powders are full of junk. This one only has seven ingredients. It's the cleanest I have found. No weird fillers or gums. My body can digest this really easy um, and so I can still make my smoothie these and yummy protein things. That's a wrap. Those are my tips. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if I left anything out or if you have found any tips to be helpful. I would love to keep the conversation going below and we can all just help each other out. We're all on this journey together. Let me know if you want to see a what I eat in the day gut health edition or something along those lines or any other videos you want to see from me. Just comment below. It would mean the world if you would like and subscribe and favorite this video. Love you guys. See you next week.